I'm Michael West, Technical Product Manager at VMware. This is an overview of Pivotal Container Service. PKS provides Kubernetes as a service for both on-premise and cloud-based deployments. The product includes a fully supported and up-to-date Kubernetes distribution, as well as an enterprise-grade container registry based on VMware's open source Project Harbor. PKS also includes software-defined networking with NSXT. Kubernetes clusters deployed through PKS can take advantage of Google Cloud Platform services through the GCP service broker included with the product. Not only does PKS support initial deployment of Kubernetes clusters on demand, but handles day two operations like cluster scale out and upgrades. PKS through Bosch also monitors health of the cluster components and will restart or recreate them if they fail. The PKS API is purpose-built to make it easy to deploy your Kubernetes clusters. Here, we're going to easily deploy three separate Kubernetes clusters. Now, if a worker node fails, Bosch will detect the failure, reprovision a VM, start the Kubernetes services, and register the worker with the cluster master. In just a few minutes, you have a fully available cluster again. Cluster scale out is a single command as well. We easily go from three to five worker VMs. OK, so let's jump in and see how this works. From the PKS CLI, we issue the create cluster command and monitor the running task through Bosch. It took about nine minutes to create this cluster. And here are the running instances. You can see we have one master node and two worker nodes. Let's jump into our Harbor registry and take a look at a couple of the images we've pushed. Harbor includes both image signing and verification through notary and vulnerability scanning of images. You can get a summary of threats by hovering over the image or drill in to get a full report. Now let's deploy an application on our cluster. PKS has stored the credentials for the cluster, so let's get those and set the context for the CLI to point to our cluster. We're now going to deploy an application onto our cluster. This is a multi-tiered application to allow you to vote for your favorite restaurant. Now let's take a look at the service that was created, and we'll note that NSX has allocated an external load balancer for Ingress into our application. And here you see our simple web application where we vote for our favorite restaurant. Now let's scale out our cluster. We'll do a simple PKS command to add another worker node to the cluster. We monitor the process with Bosch, and now we'll jump into vCenter to see what it looks like there. Bosch has already created and powered on a new VM that will be the new worker node for the cluster. Now we jump back into our CLI, and we run our instances command, and we can see that we've got all the instances in our cluster are running and available. Now let's power off one of the worker nodes and see what happens. We go back to our instances command, and we see that one of the worker nodes is down. And so Bosch is going to kick off a task to restart or recreate that VM and bring it back online as a worker node for the cluster. And now we see that all our VMs are back up and running and available. Thank you.